This is the real Tom Rose, and we're going to solve a percent problem. One of the things that I find helpful to do in percents problem is have a system that you can use for translating pros into equations. So they tell us 60% of s is equal to t percent of 30. So I have a system for translating these. And any time I have a number, that number simply becomes itself. Percent becomes over 100. Of is multiplication. Any variable names simply become themselves. Is or is equal to becomes an equal sign. Again, t becomes a variable name which is itself. Percent becomes divide by 100. Of is multiply and numbers are themselves. So that system, which you can use for any percent problem, tr immediately translated that prose we were given into an algebraic expression. Now this problem fits a familiar format where you have been given an equation and you're asked to find something else. We're asked to find, in this case, s over t. So the game becomes, what can we do to convert this equation into s over t? And the way that it looks to me that this is going to go is we need to take the t from the right side of the equation and move it to the left. So I'm going to divide both sides by t. And now we have 60 over 100 times s over t, that looks familiar, equals, these t's cancel out, 30 over 100. And now I can tell that the 100's cancel out because they're on both sides of the equation. The s over t is joined by a multiply, which is what makes that legal. And we can now divide both sides by 60. And if we do a little simplification, 30 and 60 becomes 1 over 2. The new equation is s over t equals 1 half, which is one of our answer choices. That is b.